Hello guys, this is your host Babriksha and today I'm going to tell you a small story. I was watching the uh, YouTube videos that what the people are doing, the Seifu uh, YouTubers are doing and so I was watching different videos and suddenly caught my eye. There is a video uh, which is made by Mr. Fomo and the video name is uh, Seifu Protocol Achieving My Biggest milestone yet uh, he's a good youtuber he make a lot of safe videos and he have almost 2.86 K subscriber so definitely and he has almost more than 226 K views on all of his videos which he made around 461 videos he made everything was very much fine but he was talking about his uh, his passion that uh, what how he wanted to move uh, in the in the DeFi space with the seifu and how he will sacrifice it but at the time uh, when i was listening to this i came to a point and i show you what was that point one which hits my mind so i want you guys to listen to that point first so there's lots of value there as well now what will happen what i think will happen when this all comes together so on october the 20th when the sacrifice event is done and i'm sacrificing 600 of my seifu whatever now that seifu obviously gets burnt i imagine it gets burnt into the treasure into the fire pit and that should drive the price of seifu huge it should make the price go up like crazy now once you've sacrificed remember you're starting getting rebase rewards over here as well so you so in other words he's thinking that when we're going to sacrifice the seifu for the seifu axe then all of those seifu will be sent to the fire pit and that will rise the fire pit uh, and it will also rise the prices of seifu to very high level so he is thinking that uh, uh, if he keeps the seifu with him, that can give him some kind of a trading advantage uh, when uh, all the people will sacrifice and the seifu token uh, will be converted into seifu axe. And then whatever we convert, that will be sent to fire pit. Well, that is not the thing. And uh, seifu... Mm, uh, what we sacrificed the seifu that seifu is not going to go into the uh, fire pit it will go actually to the seifu treasury and what the seifu treasury will do they will sell all of those seifu to liquidate the seifu x market seifu x blockchain and when they're going to sell the entire seifu then seifu will have pretty much no value at that time after that uh, when the treasury sell the seifu treasury can be built up again uh, when the new buyers will come and they will use the seifu protocol for passive income yes that at that time it can happen seifu uh, price can come back and treasury can uh, reform itself again but at the time of sacrifice even brian is not recommending that so i'm going to take you to the uh, brian interview that what he has to say also uh, to consolidate my claim. The direct answer is yes, that Seifu will be um, used to take out the, the BNB liquidity we've currently got in Seifu. Not all of it, obviously, but the majority of it will go into Seifu X to, to get that going. But we're not going to just withdraw 100% liquidity. No, that don't, don't get me wrong on that. Seifu will still continue to be Seifu, but a majority of that will need to be taken, of course, to, uh, to fund the project and to do everything we need to do. So, But look, there's more talk about that in the future. Don't think as a negative what I've just said that, oh my God, all this liquidity is going to be sold or anything like that. No, just trust that there'll be a process involved and you guys would be well aware of it beforehand, even if that comes to fruition, okay? So now you guys keep that in your mind that who the guys who are listening to Mr. Fomo and they are planning, uh, they are planning to follow Mr. Fomo, you know, you can also suffer a loss. And uh, I don't think so that Mr. Fomo will be responsible, will will take the responsibility of your loss. So I think so. You guys are very much, uh, um, very much intelligent. So I think you should follow the leader, follow the Brian, what he is saying, what he wanted to do for you guys, and what he said in his article. You should follow that too. 
because uh, uh, that is the most important thing uh, because he is the one who is building the entire protocol and he has the more information more than anyone of us uh, present in the community and spreading more information among you guys so i try to uh, tell you that and warn you that that whatever you do, you guys make your decision on to just uh, it will be better that you should uh, first cross check that information through uh, the brian spread it information so that would be more better so i think so that uh, the seifu people should not hold the seifu uh, at the time of uh, at the time of seifu sacrifice so that would be much better that if you guys sacrifice and do not hold any seifu because finally the protocol is going to be a blockchain and that blockchain will require a liquidity and that liquidity will be generated from the seifu treasury and for that they have to sell whatever they can sell uh, and how much they can sell of safely so keep that in your mind if the people are thinking about some kind of a, 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 a arbitrage or some kind of a, a, a trading benefit maybe they get maybe they don't but the more chances are that there will be less chances of uh, of uh, safe price to go very high after the sacrifice because tokens are not going to be burned they will be like um, they will be like sent to treasury so keep this in your mind and this is your host pabriksha please like subscribe and comment i'll see you in the next video bye bye